Oh, brother. This is what I got to deal with, yo. Look at this dude. He got the glasses on. Oh, he bought some glasses to match with such a This is where my money is going, y'all. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> my brother is all sassy. I'm just regular. I'm a regular guy every day. And he over there in the Versace store. Him and Rita spending all my money. See, look. I like that one. And he like on the phone. Time. He on the phone. He being important. He just casually spending my money. <laughs> casually. <laughs> Without any kind of, like, you got the easy sandals on. Like, I might buy me one, too. I, you know what I should do? I should, um... What? I should freeze the car right when y'all about to swipe. You're so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> said nobody got this one. Nobody got what one? The one she pulling out now. Oh, I think I like that one. It's his birthday, so. Oh, my God. How much is that one? The one that he's about to get. It's half and half. She said nobody has this one. And this is the belt that goes with it. It's reversible. You do it on this side, too. Mm. Wow, look at that. That's Meanwhile, Anton is over here cranking out videos and taking care of business, taking business meetings and calls and coaching, and they're over there just having a ball. Look at this mother effer. Put it on him again. <laughs> look at this mother effer. Look at this. Jesus Christ. What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. Next day, man, definitely had my call this morning, and it was a reality check. I'm not even going to kid you guys. It was certainly a reality check, and the reality check is that I don't know how I got like this. I mean, there's no point in being overly disappointed. You know what I'm saying? In that I knew exactly what it is that I was, but to hear it, or not even to hear it, but to see it in the form of the photos that I took, and then have to send those photos over. And then I was looking at the photos and I'm thinking to myself, man, I really need to Photoshop these photos to make myself look better. But no, the cover photo is what it is. What you're seeing right now is what it is. And we're gonna face reality. It's the beauty of living my life like an open book. You can't have it both ways. You can't say I'm gonna live my life like an open book and then don't live your life like an open book. So now I gotta be a kind of, now I have to turn into a beautiful savage because there's no way that I can just sit here and look like this in front of you guys and that be the end of the conversation. No way whatsoever. You know how difficult it is to think about or face the idea that just looking at yourself, facing the idea that you are successful in so many other places in your life, but this part you just in fell incredibly short. Like for me, everything gotta be aligned. And the fact that it's not aligned, that's an issue. That's a really big deal for me. And I'm, I'm having a difficult time dealing with it which is a good thing, right? I don't want to be comfortable in the fact that things are not what they're supposed to be. I want to have an issue with it. I'm not down about it, but I almost wish I just had that click remote that Adam Sandler had in that movie where I can just hurry up and fast forward to the results. There's no skipping. You gotta go through it. Same way I tell you guys, you gotta go through it. Ain't no skipping, ain't no elevators. You gotta take the steps. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Make sure we cover our mouths. I know everybody is vaccinated, but make sure we cover our mouths. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with these people, yo? When I weighed myself today, I was uh, 218 flat. 218 flat. Where would I like to be? Somewhere between 150 and 160. That's one of the things that uh, Bricks asked me today. What's my ideal weight? What's the ideal look? What does that look like? Picture it, frame it, make it, make it real, make it something that that you really are gonna work for. You know what I think my biggest problem is gonna be? To be honest with you, 
is is pushing too hard. It's wanting to be successful so bad that, because you know I'm just used to to getting there. I'm used to grinding and and then that translating into success. And I'm just afraid that I'm gonna go over overly apply the regimen to where I'm not paced correctly when it comes to what it is that he's trying to teach me as far as my relationship with food and it becoming a lifestyle and I'm going to be so focused on the results that I overwork and I go outside of the regimen. That's literally like my biggest worry. A lot of people worry that they're not going to get there or it's going to be too hard or I can't sustain it and all of this other type of stuff. That's not me at all. Like I'm worried all the way on the opposite end that I'm going to overwork and the results going to come too fast and it's not going to be exactly what he told me that I should have been doing because it's supposed to be a longer term thing. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm flying out there in a few days to go and uh, kick it. We're going to shoot the podcast. We're doing a lot of stuff. So it's a lot of content coming soon to you guys. But yeah, that's my biggest worry is that, you know, I believe in being the greatest student as far as when I do something, I'm going all the way in. There is no middle road. Either I'm all the way in or I'm all the way out. And what does that translate into? You know what I'm saying? That's my biggest fear and concern is that <laughs> I'm, I'm not the student that I'm supposed to be because I overly applied and overly worked when it came to this thing that we were trying to accomplish. You know what I'm saying? But it is a reality check and it's a good reality check. It's a gut punch. And, and I want to see the ugly. I want to see the ugly. I want to showcase all the things that's wrong. Hey, have y'all ever, honestly, honestly, when is the last time that you just took all of your clothes off, did a spin around, not look in the mirror, but like record yourself. You know how a lot of times when people take selfies and stuff a lot of times that they retake them, or I don't like that, or this is my good angle. When's the last time you looked at your bad angle? When's the last time that we were so brutally honest about our flaws and the things that we needed to work on that we faced them head on? I mean like super dead head on. I love this city, man. Look at the vibes here. How beautiful. New buildings going up. I'm gonna be living right here. Next year, things will be more back to normal as far as like everything opened and, you know, as things go on and things progress, it'll just be natural. You know, we got the new Piston season. I pray to God that we draft the best talent in the draft, the number one draft pick projected. Pray to God that we draft the right person. And um, it's going to be some good times down here. So I love summertime in the D. It's actually a really good place to be. Oh, that rhyme. You see how I did that? But when's the last time we really, really, like, really just faced our flaws and who we are and what we are and what we are to be and, and tackled that thing, not just champion, because I'm a, I'm a huge advocate on, on focusing on a positive, but when's the last time we really tackled the negative, the things that we haven't, we haven't done right, that's not dope about ourselves, and that we need to we need to really change and evolve in order to become the best version of ourselves. Well, I'm doing that now. I invite you guys to do it with me. It'll be therapeutic. It'll be hard. But it'll be awesome. And the only thing that matters is the results. Me bearing what I would call my ugly body right now to you guys is uh It's not fun. <laughs> it ain't fun, but it's necessary. And again, it is what it is. I bear it all. I live my life like an open book for you. I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for me, but ultimately the long-term effect is for you. Well, one benefit to this whole thing is that I'm not a heavy drinker and I'm documenting everything that I put in my body. So I'm gonna have to be accountable for that. Not only to you guys, but to bricks, so that's gonna be an interesting dynamic and situation.
It is absolutely crazy down here, that's for sure. And they playing all the different types of music. They playing James Brown. They playing the street music, the trap music. They playing everything, you know what I'm saying? So it's pretty crazy. It's, it's pretty nuts down here. But again, reality checks are a beautiful thing. And I can have fun and I can have a good time without being dependent on food for that to be the thing that I lean on. You know what I'm saying? Back at the crib, getting comfortable. Um, I picked up a salad my way back to the crib and uh let me just say first of all everybody that reached out and kicked it with your boy today i mean it was a ton of people that i ran into that was like yo i rock with your content um i love what you do don't ever change <clears throat> i i love y'all i do it for y'all i really do and um i'm never ever going to not acknowledge kick it with anybody that kick it with me or or holla at me or talk to me and even everybody that leave a comment i love y'all i rock with y'all <clears throat> so another thing that i wanted to address before we wrap this up is that you know me being out and about a lot of times i see so much buffoonery and so much trifling ignorant stupid idiotic any kind of word that describes something bad is what I've watched over and over and over again from people that look like me. And it's so unfortunate. When we going to do better? When we going to do better? I mean, it was just like pissing in the middle of the street in front of everybody. Like, really? Like, you just pulled your cock out in front of everybody and now you're in the paddy wagon getting arrested? Really? Like, you out there fighting in front of everybody with your chick, and you can't take that back home. Really? Really? Like, your shorts got to be that far up to where you just that far for the streets, and you letting dudes pour liquor that you just, you just met him. I'm literally watching this take place. Run into each other. He holler at or whatever. Next thing you know, he pouring liquor in his mouth and spitting in her mouth. I, I mean, I'm telling you, it, it's amazing. I'm amazed. I'm absolutely amazed at the things that I witness on a regular basis when I'm out and about. And I, listen, <clears throat> I'm not talking about the awesome people right now. You, you guys are awesome, right? I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the buffoonery that I see on a regular basis from the overwhelming majority of humans that I that I run into every single not that I run into but that I observe let me change that that I observe it's unfortunate anyways I got business to take care of I got to work out in the morning do a little bit of exercising getting started even though I'm not gonna talk about that yet we'll talk about it in the morning all right I appreciate y'all rock with y'all um, should I go out of town tomorrow? Is that a thing? Can y'all see my tattoo? Y'all didn't know I had a tattoo? Had it since I was 18 years old. I don't know. Maybe I hit Chicago. One of the people that rock with me that I ran into, he wound up being a Patreon member. I've been running into a lot of Patreon members. Make sure y'all check out the Patreon in the description. Um, Patreon member, he told me, yo, tapping into Chicago. Taste Fest. Is the Taste Fest happening in Chicago? If it's a lie, he told it. It's happening in Chicago. I'll holler at y'all tomorrow. Peace.